Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Science with Mrs. Dumas. Today, we're continuing chapter one, and we're going to start lesson two. The topic of lesson two is, what is sound energy? The blare of an alarm clock, the beep of a car horn, the quack of a duck, and the rumble of thunder during a storm are all sounds. Sound is energy in the form of vibration passing through matter. And we know that there are three states of matter, solids, liquids, and gas. Can you think which form of matter can sound travel through the fastest? If you guess solids, then you are correct. A vibration. A vibration is a quick back and forth movement. So how do sound travel? As sound waves move through matter, they set particles into motion. The moving particles form a pattern. Areas with groups of particles that are bunched together alternate with areas of particles that are farther apart. The area where particles bunch together are called compressions. Now let's talk about two important terms when we're talking about the way sound travels. Number one, frequency. Number two, wavelength. Frequency. The frequency of a wave is the number of waves that pass a point in a certain amount of time. Wavelength. Wavelength is the distance between a point on one wave and a similar point on the next wave. Wavelength and frequency are inverse proportional. In other words, shorter wavelengths have higher frequencies and longer wavelengths have lower frequencies. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our science lesson for today. Tomorrow, we will continue with lesson two. I'm going to turn you back over to your science teacher, and I hope you enjoyed Science with Miss Dumas. Bye-bye.